Hey guys, how's it going? So let's talk about something I call profound acceptance. It's not easy, but it can have great rewards. It'll require a lot of humility, probably a lot of discomfort for some period of time, but it can help integrate or free you from your worst fears, your worst um, tendencies. Because a lot of our energy is spent running away inside somewhere. Not really being with something, whether it's anger, fear, feeling not good enough, um, ju self-judgment, judgment of others, which generally comes down to your own self-judgment because you're judging yourself um, based upon what you think others are judging you about. Um, and this profound self-acceptance that I'm referring to is just accepting the possibility that your fear is true. Like, let's say you feel like you're not a good person. Well, totally accept that you're not a good person. But the rule of this acceptance is you don't judge it. You just accept that possibility and you go about your life anyways positively. Let's give another example. Um, you're not deserving of love. Maybe that's ultimately true. Or you're going to hell because of something you did. Maybe that's ultimately true. You accept that fully, all the fears that that would mean about you, and you accept it. You can't do anything about it. It's 100% gonna be that way. And despite it, you go forward. You accept it. Maybe you love yourself nonetheless. You honor the situation as it is. You accept it, it can't be changed. It's 100% that way. And you positively proceed forward nonetheless. Now, I, I have found that when I've done this with myself, it can really just stop that energetic kind of nervousness inside about like, oh, what if this is true? Oh, uh, I, I can't accept this about myself. Oh, um, I, I, I'm ugly or um, I have a small penis or um, I am uh, a stupid person, like anything, okay. It's true. What now? Now, it's not that easy, because usually when you say you accept it, okay, it's true. Then there's like, but, 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 but. Well, that will mean I won't have friends, or that will mean I'll get rejected, or that will mean I'll be uh, made fun of, or... Okay, I accept that too, 100%. But nonetheless, I'm going to proceed forward with my life. Maybe I will get rejected, but there'll be somebody else who will not reject me eventually. Well... My parents won't like me, okay, maybe that'll happen, but then you'll find somebody else who you, who will accept you. Or that maybe you won't be accepted, maybe you'll live by yourself forever. Maybe you'll be fully alone. And that's 100% how it's gonna be. It may sound bad, but it may not be as bad as you're making it out to be. But the key is here, is you accept it totally, you don't judge it, you believe everything about your fear, but you can you proceed positively nonetheless. You don't ultimately make it a negative, life-ending, horrible thing. You just fully accept the circumstance, the situation, the thing that you believe is true, or you're afraid could be true. Well, that was told to you that was true from your friends or your family or yourself. You can't be forgiven for this because it hurts somebody um, or worse and you're gonna have to live with that way forever and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna suffer in hell forever. Well, you can't change that now if that's true. I, mean, I don't believe it's true, but you can't change it, so why complain about it now? Oh 
oh, but it's going to be so bad, it's going to be so hard. Well, you can, you can go on and on about it in your head and your emotions and feel it. But you can't change it. It can't be. It can't be. It can't be changed. So why not just unconditionally accept it, not worry about it, proceed forward nonetheless. Accept the fate, the possible fate. It's terrifying sometimes, but when you really, 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 really see that it may not happen that way either after you fully accept it. And whether or not it does happen or not, it doesn't matter. You, you, nothing can be changed. So why worry? Why get bent out of shape now? Been said, it's been said and done. Whatever's going to happen in the future that you can't see is going to happen. Whatever judgments may come your way from people around you may or may not happen, but fully accept it. This will take practice. It'll be really scary. But... I believe if you really, really feel inclined to try what I'm pointing to, it can have profound results. You can definitely stabilize into something that is um, secure. It's fully accepted the possibility, the potential, the consequences, Nonetheless, it goes on forward positively without worry of it. Because it's just going to weigh you down, so why worry about it? If, it's, if it is inevitable, why worry about it? All right. So, yeah, give that a shot. Try it out. Let me know how it goes. Like I said, this may take a while, and each issue that you may face with this will be its own individual challenge. And sometimes, you just when you fully face it head on, you're like, okay, yeah, totally. Like, maybe that's true. I'm 100. Not, I'm not going to run away anymore. I, I already run away for the years of my life. Sometimes it just, it just clicks, and you're like, oh, I was just running away and afraid, and it was not that hard. But other times. Your mind will um, make it challenging. So with that, uh, I'll leave you to ponder and consider and try out. All right, take care. Good night.